Hi everyone, welcome to Dentist and what do you think is C and E here? C is cemento and E is enamel and what is present between the two? A junction which is called cemento enamel junction. This junction divides the crown and the root of the tooth at the cervix of the tooth that is neck of the tooth like a line. So this is also called a cervical line and that can be your important theory exam question when you can be asked about the types of cemento enamel junction as a short note. So let's get to know all the types today in this video. So let's start before starting quickly subscribe to Dentist and abhi tak nahi kiya to jaldi se kar do aur this video ko ek like bhi de do. I keep making such informative videos for you so let's first understand and then we'll see how to write for exam let me show you a few pictures and then you can guess the type of cj so what do you think is happening here so cementum is going above the enamel so this is called overlap type of junction what is happening here the two are meeting nicely edge to edge so this is called edge to edge junction where they are meeting and what is happening here are they meeting or no no they are not meeting there is a gap between the two so this is called gap junction Oh my god there are three different types of cemento enamel junction yes omg and that is how you have to remember that o overlap is seen in 60% of the teeth followed by edge to edge which is seen in 30% of the teeth and followed by gap which is seen only in 10% of the teeth so you have to remember omg and their percentages now normally they will meet edge to edge when everything is normal but why there can be cementum can overlap or there can be gap between the two so to understand that we'll have to know what going ha happening here during the cementum formation that happens. happens during the root formation so root formation starts once enamel and dentin are there reduced enamel epithelium is there and hrs has formed to help in root formation outside to that we have dental follicle cells which are connective tissue cells so normally at this stage odontoblast cells they form root dentin after that hrs breaks down dental follicle comes in contact with dentin converts to cementoblast and forms cementum so that is normal normal but something can go wrong what can go wrong if there is reduced enamel epithelium reduced enamel epithelium it breaks down it degenerates before its normal time that is before the tooth is erupted it degenerates so what will happen dental follicle connective tissue cells will come here they will contact this enamel they will transform into cementoblast and they will lay down cementum over there so cementum has come over enamel so cementum overlaps enamel so that is how overlap junction forms when there is early degeneration of reduced enamel epithelium dental follicle contacts enamel surface differentiates to cementoblast and cementum is formed so that is overlap now when can gap happen when that happens when root dentin has started forming but hrs does not break down hr tootne ka naam hi nahi leti hai it remains attached over the cervical region below that cementum has formed due to differentiation from from the dental follicle cells cementum has formed over the dentin but at the cervical region near the cervix this hrs remains is attached so when later it gets separated from here at this region what will happen there will be nothing over there over the dentin dentin will be exposed and there will be gap between the cementum and enamel so that is how gap happens so delayed degeneration of hudwig's epithelial root sheath can lead to no formation of cementum over dentin the normal process will not happen and there will be a gap between cementum and enamel and poor dentin will be exposed so i hope you have understood that is overlap is forming when reduced enamel epithelium degenerates and gap is forming when hrs does not degenerate at normal time ek jaldi degenerate kar rahi hai aur ek degenerate hi nahi kar rahi hai so 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 yeah, that is how you can remember that overlap happens when there is degeneration of reduced enamel epithelium early degeneration normal junction forms when everything is normal and gap comes when there is delayed degeneration of hrs so now let's see how to write for example what is cemento enamel junction junction between cementum and enamel where at the cervical portion of the tooth so it is also called as cervical line is it same no there can be three different types so it is variable three types are overlap edge to edge and gap junction let's get to know each type overlap type seen in 60% teeth most common type i what is happening here cementum will overlap enamel for short distance and the type of cementum formed is a fibrillar so how to draw the diagram first we'll draw the dentin that is s shaped and dental tubules above that we will have enamel enamel rods and in between the dentin and enamel we can show this scallop dentino enamel junction we be dentino enamel junction below that we have cementum which will show with yellow color and the cementum is overlapping enamel as you can see here so cementum has to overlap enamel and in between the cementum and dentin you can show tom's granular layer so that is how you have to draw the diagram now why it is forming because of degeneration early degeneration of reduced enamel epithelium so that is what is happening here and 
normally it is said that it is afibrillar but actually fibrils are there collagen fibrils are there in this cementum but they are not normal that is they do not show 64 nanometer banding and but with time if this stays for long time this afibrillar cementum can get converted into fibrillar that means there can be collagen fibrils with normal banding can can come here and it will become fibrillar cementum now let's talking about the second type that is h2h where cementum and enamel they meet at a sharp line so it is seen in 30 percent they meet in sharp line and that is how you have to draw the diagram everything else will remain same but here the cement to enamel junction will be h2h that is they are meeting at sharp line so it is also known as h2h and it is also called as butt joint that can be your viva question entrance question so sharp junction is also called h2h junction or butt joint where they meet now talking about the third type gap type it is seen in 10 percent when there is gap between cementum and enamel they do not meet so here you will show that in the diagram you will show a gap between cementum and enamel when it forms because there is delayed degeneration of HERS normal cementum is not formed so what will happen dentin is exposed now 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 if dentin is exposed what can happen we have read that dentin is sensitive because of the dentinal fluid so if the dentin is exposed there will be dentin sensitivity in such cases also there can be resorption of the root root may break down here also if the bacteria come here they can cause caries so there can be root caries so many things can happen at the gap type of cj and that is the clinical significance of gap type of cj so those are the three types now recent observations by optical microscope have revealed that there can be fourth type of junction now what is this fourth type where enamel can overlap cementum but that is rare occurrence what about the cj in deciduous teeth is it same no it is different from permanent teeth there the edge to edge type of junction is more common followed by overlap type of junction and the other two that is gap and the fourth type are rare so scanning electron microscope recently has revealed that cemento enamel junction may exhibit different all patterns in teeth when they are traced circumferentially that is when we look all around the teeth we can see different types of cj now we have come to this sum of the types of cj you have to remember omg 60 30 10 so omg diagrams are this overlap edge to edge and gap junction overlap 60 percent is most common type due to early degeneration of reduced enamel epithelium then edge to edge 30 percent they meet in a sharp line it is called edge to edge or butt joint gap seen in 10 percent and it is due to delayed degeneration of hers it is it can cause dentin sensitivity root resorption and root carry so those are the three types of cemento enamel junction then you can also mention the four type which is rare that is enamel overlapping cementum and it is different for deciduous teeth where edge to edge is more common followed by overlap so let's check what have you learned now let me give you a few multiple choice questions you have to pick your choice so first question oh, at cemento enamel junction what is happening cementum overlaps enamel cementum meets enamel cementum does not meet enamel or all of the above now second question but joint is seen in how many percentage of teeth nine 60%, 30%, 10%, and and the last one which is rarely seen enamel meeting cementum cementum overlapping enamel they, they are not meeting or enamel overlap cementum so do let me know your answers in the comment section below if you really enjoyed the video give a tap on the like button and share this video with your friends keep watching keep learning and keep smiling good luck for your exams see you in the next video soon till then take care bye bye